starting with our very first group of guests. Now I say that because there's three of them, two humans, one pup. Now, you know that Local Onto loves our rescue babies, and we've got a great big guy here. I want to show you everybody. This is Sergeant Avery. Look at him. He's beautiful, this gentle giant. Of course, we also have two beautiful humans here. We have Robin and we have Hunter, both uh, joining us from Cheatham County Animal Control. And Robin heads up SCAMP, which is the nonprofit arm of the rescue, of the shelter, I should say. So, Robin, tell us about Sergeant, and then tell us about about SCAMP as well. Sure, so uh, Sergeant who we brought with us is a three-year-old dog who came in as a stray. Uh, he's a big boy, he's about 80 pounds, and we just love him. He's, he's been great with people of all ages. Um, we even think Sorry. he's probably good with cats. And, I was trying to and get right him now he's sound, he's sound asleep right well, now. Well, he's, he's really <laughs> chill, everybody. Clearly, as you can see, he's not doing much. He's great. He's, he's a good boy. Um, and one interesting thing about Sergeant is that he just got treated for heartworms, um, which is a problem that we have all throughout Tennessee. And uh, so he's on sort of activity restrictions right now, so he's just chilling out with us. And uh, SCAMP, our nonprofit, was able to pay for that. That's amazing. So yes, that kind of segues us into SCAMP. Uh, tell us what it stands for and exactly all the things you guys do. Yeah, so SCAMP stands for Saving Cheatham Animals Mission Pausable. It's a nonprofit we started three years ago when we realized that there just was not enough money in the county budget to pay for all the needs of the dogs and cats that come through the shelter. Um, when you take in about 1,200 animals a year, there's a lot of medical needs. All the animals have to get fixed. And then dogs come in with injuries or cats get sick. So there's lots of reasons to need a nonprofit. Yeah, I mean, you're talking everything from, as you said, amputations from being hit by a car to heartworm to cherry eye to spay and neuter to fleas to all of it. It costs a ton of money. Of money. Tell us a little bit about Chippy. We have a photo of little Mr. Chippy. Well, Chippy, <laughs> Chippy just came in, and he's a great example. So Chippy is a cute 13-pound puppy oh. that was found, I believe, just along a roadside with a very badly broken femur, which is the long bone of the leg. And uh, if it, I don't know if you have an x-ray or not, but it was just broken in half. Aww. And so he needed emergent surgery. And so it was taken to a, a local clinic. And he had an amputation, which sounds depressing, but actually dogs do great with three legs. And that's an example of something that SCAMP was able to pay for that the county probably would not have had the funds for on hand. Yeah, absolutely. These these shelters do what they can, but they don't have enough. No, nobody does. Um, okay, Hunter, you work in the kennels, so That's you real. see these babies day in and day out, That's and they're real. amazing. And unfortunately, a lot of people will never see them because you're considered a rural yeah. shelter. Explain what that means and, and why you need people to get out so badly. Well, it affects us for, um, getting adoptions and you know stuff like that. It also help. There's just not enough people who, who know about us, really, yeah. Yeah. is one of the big issues. So yeah. we don't get like tons of visitors, and we just don't have lots of people coming in. So we're, we're hoping to get more people to know about us and come check us out. Yeah, the foot traffic. Went, and you're only about 30 minutes away, but people don't think to go. And then the foot traffic isn't there, and then you don't have the adoption rate. Yeah. So please, everybody. Um, okay, really quickly, I know you made some great improvements to the kennels. Yeah. You wanna do some improvements to the play yard, tell us. Yeah, so, so last year our big project was to renovate the kennels to make them safer for the animals. And so uh, that we did that, and so then we took a look at our play yards. And our play yards could use a little work. I mean, they're, they're functional, but you can kind of see in the video that the, the poles have seen a lot of weather mm -hmm. and they're a little bent and the awning is sort of tethered down. So that, that's our next project for 2024. Wow, wow. And you said 1,200 animals come through a year? Yeah, that was about last year's numbers. Wow, and that's cats, dogs, that's everything. Yeah. And that takes a toll on volunteers, on workers. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. Wow, well, we wanna do our part in helping. So we have a wonderful guest who would like to join us today. This is Blair 
from Bart Durham Injury Law, and he wants to make an incredible donation to you guys. Right, we have a check for you guys for $1,000. That is so nice of you. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is a really exciting uh, project that we are just starting, the Bart Durham's Big Give Back, donating $1,000 to animals in need in oh, our nice. community. Yeah. And uh, Blair, thank you. This uh, was a huge, amazing project. When I heard about it, of course, I was all uh, in. Yeah, I, I'm so excited. We, you know, a lot of law firms that are here aren't really local, and we are, and this is my community, and I, we just want to give back. And you're a big animal lover, too. I am. I have two dogs of my own, Fizz oh. and Grace. Oh. Uh, Fizz was named by Siri. <laughs> my kids were very young when we got Fizz. He's 12, and we asked Siri, what's a good name for a white, curly-haired dog? Fizz Pop. Oh, oh my gosh, look at them. Look oh, at that. that. Oh my gosh. Wow, wait, Fizz and what's the other one? Grace. Name? Grace. Oh my God. And you, so you know firsthand how amazing dogs are and how much oh. they bring to humans. Oh, they have not slept without a human in their existence. So. Oh, and, and, and when you're having a bad day, when, yeah. you know, it's ugly outside, when you get home from work and you've really, you know, had a rough one, they just make everything better. They really do. They're yeah. great. And I thank you for realizing how much our shelters and our rescues need. And I know that that's going to go a long way. What it is does. that going to help? I, I mean, you could take your pick. We could use it for <laughs> play yard improvements. Yeah. We have tons of medical needs. And then we also fix a lot of the animals. So you and I can chat, but we can direct okay. it any way you want. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. Oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you, thank, thank you. you, thank you for doing this You're so welcome. much. Thank, thank you. you very much. That's super nice. You guys, we're making we're making magic happen. And, and you too, Sergeant. Also, Sergeant is available, available. for adoption. <laughs> so hey, you've seen it here. You've got Blair here saying to adopt Sergeant. So now is the time. And of course, every so often, the Bart Durham Injury Law Firm will be giving back to nonprofits helping animals. So yes. we are so excited here at Local on 2 to be part of the big Bart Durham Big Give Back. Yay. And please learn more about Cheatham County Animal Control and follow Bart Durham's lead and make a donation. Visit ccactn.org. That's Cheatham County Animal Control, Tennessee.org.